Commander's Log, Battlestar Solaria, Stephen Evans recording. After 10 days of very low activity, my task force has been assigned a mission to seize a shipment of nuclear weapons that has been known to us via a hack of the Cylon network. I had wanted the Solaria, but she was not ready. As Athena does not have a permanent XO, I have Commander Modi on loan. Commander Modi was disoriented when she woke up in a pilot bunk on the Battlestar Athena. It had been a short time as a Battlestar commander. Modi was surprised how used to her privacy she had become. She felt uncomfortable as she stripped and showered with the Viper pilots who are on their best behavior in front of a commander. She quipped to herself about lines in the shower, being for a lower class person. It was easy to get into a bad frame of thought. She sternly reminded herself to never let that happen. Ten minutes later, she was up in CIC or uniform pressed and everything shiny and perfect, as usual, standing in the much smaller, combat information center of the Battlestar Athena. She was self-conscious as she had no time to take care of her hair. It was wet, hanging limply to shoulder length behind her back. I am not used to these displays, however it seems that the board is green on all task force members. Task Force 77 is ready for a combat jump. Let's hope every ship in this task force comes home. Jump complete, Dreadus shows 10 Cylon contacts. Launching Raiders. Any sign of the nukes? Escort priority one, still alive. Negative, sir. Dreadus, sir. What the frack? We had grade one near certain intelligence that there was a single Argos loaded with the nukes. Where are my fracking nukes? I don't know, sir. We will take that up after the mission. It's too late to withdraw. Stand down the Marine Strike Team. Have the Raptors reconfigured for search and rescue. Yes, sir. Escort clear zone intact. Party 1 is in safe Exo, sit rep. Formation is set up as per the battle plan. The Adamant and Bezard squadrons have excellent firing arcs. The air wing is set up for missile defense. Raiders are approaching as expected. Pony Commander Air Group, Defense Squadrons, get to work, Anti-Raider Squadrons engage, engage right fracking now. This is Toddler Green Squadron, get after the Raiders. Form up on me. Escort clear zone, intact. Party 1 is in safe hands. Fleet orders, concentrate light points, fence cannons on Raider Squadrons, weapons free. Activate Anti-Raider Defense Plan. Air wing take note of the triple I corridors and stay out of flak and fire zones. Pony acknowledging. Toddler act. Snake, this is Toddler 3 Raiders on your tail break left. Air wing this is XO Athena, 300 missiles inbound targeting the Bezard squadron. Air wing intercept. Let us for them guys. You are being targeted. You are too high. The Artemis flag will not catch the guided missile. Bezerg down, Bezerg down, Bezerg's 2 and 3 full defense, continue the dive, no missile salvos inbound. This is 
forces of the AX will turn on squadron and increase height slightly and try to provide cover for the remaining Berserk class ships. This is Athena acting excellent to all Artemis class. Maintain flat left. Prepare to switch topside battle star artillery to cyber mode. Sending you target the fire secure wireless. Task Force Operations, new inbound missile salvos. 320 inbound missiles. Defensive squadrons engage. All ships maintain flak firing rate. Pony to spinner. Jink right, you are too close to the Triton's engagement zone. Purple squadron break high and right then engage the missiles while not flying through Artemis class flak. This is Athena XO2 Adamant Squadron. Air wing is under pressure. Please provide support fire as opportunities arise. Please, for frack's sake, Battlestar Commanders don't say please, they give orders. Yes, sir. Athena, your flak is hitting the station. No, maintain distance from the station as we pass. Actually, if we adjust now, we risk collision with the Adamant Squadron. If we order a course correction, these are yard surplus ships with 60-year-old computer and bombs gear. It may cause chaos, sir. Oh, belay my last. That is, she goes. Toddler, that raider nearly shot my ass off. I am leading the charge here. You misfits need to watch my back. Damn, they are putting out heavy fire. This is Snake. I'm in trouble. Need to break right. Just keep coming and coming. Pony, the fire is so thick here I could almost walk on it. Another desert is in trouble. Hey, Ring, this is Task Force Exo. Can you spare any planes to assist the desert squadron? This is Toddler. Upchuck and Bones, you and your wingmen break off and try to help the desert squadron. Another 275 missiles are inbound. 
Some of them are going to get through. They are trying to move guided missiles in over the Artemis flag field and hit their fire control. Airwing, clear the airspace above those battle stars. There goes a base star. Take that, toasters.
wrecking, we're just collapsing. Actual four guns to salvo mode. Time to roll through the last few contacts. The team did very well, Commander Evans. Our losses were limited to a pair of bezels. It is painful, but it could have been worse. That intel was very bad. We will have to look at the recordings, but I did not see an Argos base star anywhere. Commander Modi, it was a major intelligence failure. We came out with a task force and took casualties. Silence can afford this kind of attrition. We cannot. All units are ordered to RTB. 